Hello! <laughs> Hi, Classroom 2. I'm Teacher Rosie. I found another Easter book for you. Now, this one's very old and very old fashioned, so let's see what it says. The Golden Egg Book. Oh, by Margaret Wise Brown, illustrated by Leonard Weisgard. It's an old golden book. Oh, here's a pretty. There's a pretty picture. There's a bunny rabbit. There's a frog. I guess that's a, I don't know, a rat or a mouse. That's a mushroom. And Shasta daisies. And a robin. A butterfly. Okay. I'm gonna turn the page. Yes, this is the title page, the Golden Egg Book, from 19, oh my gosh, copyright 1947, originally 1947, this one's not from 1947, <laughs> this one was, sorry, 1976, I think they said, yeah, 1976 edition, I was six years old. Maybe a little, oops, hey, where's the first page? Darn it. Sorry about that. Okay. I <sighs> found the first page. Look, it's a bunny rabbit. And that is a very pretty blue egg. Once there was a little bunny. He was all alone. One day he found an egg. Something moving inside the egg. What was it? Hmm. Maybe a little boy? Maybe another bunny? Maybe a tiny elephant? Maybe a mouse? Hmm. What could it be? Who could tell what he would find? And how would a little bunny know? But there was something inside that egg. He could hear something moving. He shook it. Then the bunny pushed the egg with his foot. He jumped on top of the egg. That's a big egg. And he's a tiny bunny. He climbed a tree and threw nuts at it. He rolled the egg down a hill, but still it wouldn't break. It didn't break, and whatever was in the egg didn't come out. So the bunny threw a rock at the egg, but because it was only he was only a little bunny, it was a very little rock, and he didn't throw it very hard, and the egg didn't break. <laughs> pick, pick, pick! Something was trying to get out of that egg. The bunny sat very still and watched through his shining eyes. He sat very still and listened with his big soft ears. Pick, 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 pick. What could it be? <sighs> Sorry, keep missing pages. And then the little bunny began to yawn. Oh. And he yawned and he yawned. Oh. The egg was very quiet. He curled up all sleepy and warm close to the egg and went to sleep. He went to sleep because he was so sleepy. And then... Pick, 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 pick. And pick. And crackety crack. Out jumped a little yellow duck. Actually, it's a duckling. Well, what is this? said the little duck when he saw the bunny. What could this little fur thing be? <laughs> the bunny was very sleepy, so he was still asleep, and he didn't wake up. Inside the egg, said the duck, I thought I was all alone in a small dark world. Now I find myself alone with the bunny in a big bright world, and the bunny won't wake up. 
he said. He wants to play with his new friend. So the duck pushed the bunny with his foot. Push, 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 push. And jumped on top of the bunny. Hop, hop, hop. And threw a little rock at him. It wouldn't make any sound because the bunny's fur is so soft. Oops, somebody cut that page out. And the bunny, oh, then the bunny woke up. Where's my egg, said the bunny. And where did you come from? <laughs> Never mind that, said the duck. Here I am. So the bunny and the duck were friends. And no one was ever alone again. Oh, that's so cute. The bunny and the duckling were friends. The end. It's a pretty egg. The end. Happy Easter, everyone.